Greetings and welcome to this edition of Positronic Hypersonic. I'm Barry P. Cook, and I'm here to talk to you about the season slash series finale of The Walking Dead, The Ones Who Live. It was called The Last Time. And as the episode starts, Rick goes back to the CRM and tells Thorne that the chopper was struck by lightning, but that he was saved when he got tossed from the chopper by Michonne before meeting with Major General Beale. Michonne, meanwhile, sneaks around in what looked like Jadis's gear and enters Jadis's quarters looking for the dossier and eventually finds it before destroying it. Before she can leave, though, another soldier enters the apartment when she suspects that someone's in there and Michonne kills her. The Major General makes Rick disarm and asks him to reflect on his life, saying that after this moment, everything will change, before asking him what the worst thing is that he ever did to make sure someone he cared about survived. And we got a flashback of him killing various people over the years, including the person he killed by biting them like he was a walker himself. Meanwhile, Michonne finds a stuffed bunny on the floor of a building and has a flashback herself of Carl and of some other things. Beale tells Rick that when he was in the regular military, he knowingly sacrificed his fellow troops in Pittsburgh to walkers in order to save Philadelphia. He also says that according to CRM research, humanity has about 14 years left on Earth because of walkers and disease and resource limitations. And he also tells him about how the CRM's been and will continue to destroy cities and take their resources to eliminate the CRM's competition and continue their own survival, with Portland being the next target. Michonne sneaks into a different briefing about how they're going to brutally destroy Portland while evacuating kids to safety, and it freaks her out. Beale asks Rick to swear on the sword that he's in for the mission, but... He soon realizes that Rick's not going to do that. Before he can make a go for Rick, though, Rick makes a go for him, and they fight, at which point Rick kills Beale. Rick then wheels his body out in a container, but when it starts to bleed, he has to kill a guard who sees the blood on the floor. He then meets up with Michonne, who tells him what she learned about what's going to happen to Portland, and urges him to help her stop it. Thorne goes looking for Beale in the woods, after Rick told him Beale went off into the woods for pre-operation solitude. Rick and Michonne prepare to use explosives to stop the CRM's plan by killing all the troops that are gathered together. Thorne eventually finds Rick's prosthetic hand in Beale's office. Rick gives Michonne Beale's sword before they set loose Walker Beale and the now zombified soldier that Rick killed with a trigger wire attached to them so that they can set off all of these hand grenades at once over near the poison gas stores that the CRM has that they used on Michonne and her friends before. But Thorne stops them before they can get away and orders them to undo whatever it is they did, but it's too late, and the explosives go off as Rick and Michonne die for cover. A ton of troops are now walkers, and Rick and Michonne have to fight the walkers and Thorne respectively, which results in Michonne killing Thorne and Rick exploding another small bunch of walkers that were attacking him. In the wake of the destruction and the discovery of what the CRM had been up to, the CRC takes over what's left of the CRM, and lifts all secrecy and all the restrictions on travel. Rick and Michonne take a helicopter and return home, at which point Rick meets RJ for the first time, and RJ tells Rick that he knew he'd come back because he believed. And that's where the episode, and I'm guessing at this point, the series ended. So I didn't think too much of this episode for a number of reasons. I don't think the CRM would ever have believed that Rick wasn't compromised. I I just don't think they would ever believe that because he'd been looking to get away, looking to get away. He's finally the last person left and can go wherever he wants, and he comes back. Why? So I think they would have been suspicious of his story. But if you put that aside, there's still other stuff about this episode that I didn't like. I found that they rushed the ending. And I had said last week that I didn't think they were going to do that because that would be a dumb move, but they did. And they did exactly what I thought they wouldn't do, which was they gave Rick and Michonne like two minutes at the end to be reunited with the family, which I also didn't think they were going to do. And so I didn't like that. I thought it was cheesy. I thought that they they wrapped it up way too quickly with this big deus ex machina bomb that they come up with. And, you know, if I remember the CRC correctly, they weren't exactly saints either. They weren't doing everything on the up and up either. So the idea that, oh, everything's okay now because the CRC took over the CRM. uh, Yeah, I wasn't buying that. And, you know, I also didn't buy that Rick and Michonne survived the explosion just by hiding under whatever it is they hid under. It was like a tarp. And not only that, but then as the gas is everywhere, Rick avoids getting sick the way Michonne did. 
when she got hit with it the first time by putting his shirt up over his face. And Michonne doesn't really have anything over her face for a couple of minutes before she gets a hold of a gas mask. So it's like, how potent is all this gas? I mean, she was, they were hit with the boatload of it, the mother load. And they managed to not only survive this gigantic explosion, but they didn't get sick from the gas. And I thought that was a little cheap, kind of like pushing the limits of suspending disbelief. One good thing about it is they brought up the whole thing about fire again. You know, Rick mentions fire when he's talking with Beale and, you know, how it, I guess, correlates their mission of destroying cities to preserve other cities to save humanity or try to save humanity. So he, he brings up fire again. And of course, that's been something that's been a theme throughout the six episodes. I also liked that RJ tells Rick, I knew you'd come back because I believed, which goes back into the whole thing about, you know, believe just a little bit longer, which they brought up in a couple of previous episodes. So I thought thematically, that was good. They tied a lot of stuff together thematically. But you know, I don't know why they couldn't have gone eight episodes or 10 episodes to draw out the part where Rick and Michonne take out the CRM from the inside after the point at which Rick got the echelon briefing. I think they just short shrifted the audience by wrapping it all up in one episode with one giant explosion. That said, I like the series on the whole because it, of course, not only filled us in on what Rick and Michonne were doing all those years, but it ended with them together alive, obviously, and back home. And I like that very much. So if we never see those characters again, if we never see Alexandria again or anything like that, we know that Rick and Michonne were together with their kids back in Alexandria. And I think that's good. I think that's a loose end that needed to be wrapped up since the end of the original series. And they wrapped it up and I'm happy for that. And I liked the series as a whole. I thought most of the episodes were good. I just didn't like this last episode, the way they handled things and ended things I thought it was cheap and lazy and you know just a a way to not have to do more episodes and not have to make you know Andrew Lincoln and the actress who plays Michonne commit to more episodes and you know pay them (laughs) so I I thought that was unfortunate but I don't think this took anything away from the series as the whole I think the series on the whole was quite good and like I said I'm glad they made it But that's really all there is to say. So I'm going to get out of here. I'll be back with another video soon. Until I return, as always, I wish you peace and long life.